You ever notice in FPS games that your character never holds their gun perfectly still? Like when you look around, your gun sways a little bit because it looks much more realistic than a gun that doesn't move at all. In this Godot tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's open up Godot and here we have a simple first person character controller. Watch my video on FPS controllers if you don't know how to make one. The first thing we're going to do is right click on our head node, select add child and in the window type spatial in the search bar. Click on the spatial node and click create, which adds a new spatial node to our head node. I'm going to call it hand lock, which is short for hand location, and we're going to move hand lock forward and a bit to the side to approximate where a hand would be if it were holding a gun. Next, right click on hand lock and add another spatial node to it. I'm going to call it hand. Then we're going to right click on hand, add child, and this time we'll type mesh instance in the search bar. Click on mesh instance and click create. I'm going to call it gun. In the inspector next to mesh, click on empty and select new cube mesh which creates a box. Click on the preview window and adjust its dimensions until it's about the size and shape of a gun. Next I'm going to move the gun mesh slightly up and forward so that the gun is in a realistic position relative to the hand. Once you're done, click on the camera node, select preview so that you're seeing what the camera sees, then click on the hand lock node and in the transform tab in the inspector, adjust its position until the gun is in a place that looks good to you. Finally, we're going to click on our hand node and drag it into the head node so that it becomes a child of head instead of hand lock. Once that's done, we can begin coding. The first thing we're going to do is create a reference to our hand and hand lock nodes up in the variables by writing onready var hand equals dollar sign hand slash head, as well as onready var hand lock equals dollar sign head slash hand lock. We're also going to create a constant that controls how much our gun will sway by writing const sway equals 30. The higher the number, the tighter the sway. Then we're going to go to our ready function, delete pass, and write hand.set as top level true, which will make our gun completely independent of our character controller. To make the gun controllable again, we're going to create a new process function if you don't already have one by writing func underscore process delta, and in it we're going to write hand.globaltransform.origin equals handlock.globaltransform.origin, which will move the hand node to the position of the handlock node on every frame. This makes our gun controllable again, but you'll notice that the rotation is all messed up. This is normal. To fix that, we're going to write hand.rotation.y equals lerp angle, hand.rotation.y, rotation.y, sway times delta, as well as hand.rotation.x equals lerp angle, hand.rotation.x, head.rotation.x, sway times delta. In our character controller, we get horizontal rotation by rotating the entire body, and we get vertical rotation by rotating only the head, which prevents weird rotations that can happen when you don't separate the rotations like this. For horizontal rotation, we're saying that we want our hand rotation to copy the rotation of our body, but delay it by a small amount, which is defined by sway times delta. And for vertical rotation, we want the hand to copy the rotation of the head, again with a small delay. Now when you run the game, your gun is fully controllable, but it will sway realistically like as if it has real weight and volume. If you want to have more control over the sway, you can create another constant in the variables called vsway, which you can set to a different number, and change sway to vsway in the code for vertical rotation. That way you can adjust the vertical and horizontal sway independently. And that's about it. This is not the only way to do weapon sway, but it's one of the easiest ways and it gives a pretty realistic result, so hopefully you found this video helpful. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you're curious about my computer setup, there's some links in the description you can check out. Follow me on Twitter for updates, join the Discord for the community, and of course, like, subscribe, bell icon, and have a nice day.